Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast. This is my fourth update, guys. I know that's a whole lot of videos in one day. It's just I really want to give you guys as much information, and we have a ton of new updates, mainly for Georgia and Alabama is where we have the biggest update. But I think the biggest update has to go to Georgia. I'm not just saying that because I live there, but again, many of my viewers, uh, more than maybe 40% are from Georgia, guys. We have major new updates, and we're seeing this moderate risk now getting past Atlanta, and I'm right on the border. Oh, I'm not right on the border. I'm within 30 miles of this moderate risk. So by the next update, guys, I could be in the moderate risk. And that's major, major issues out here. I'm going to be going to the basement after this video because of this. But again, I do apologize for making all these videos. It's just, I can't live stream because of what happened on August. Y'all remember, I will be live streaming though. And you guys know that. So I'm trying to make as many videos as I can with as many uh new updates as you can so you and your family have the newest updates thank you guys so much for 2115 subscribers we've gained 15 plus today that means a lot thank you guys for the support be sure to share the channel guys and i need you guys i really need you guys to share the channel to any other friends or family that you know that live in the southeast because we already saw an ef5 tornado in mississippi and we saw we've seen multiple ef3s and fours and we're seeing a very strong now tornado possibly northeast of Birmingham so again please share the channel we need people as many people uh, to know what's happening and be sure to tell them subscribe as one of the multiple other discussion uh discussions on breaking news and all that so again please subscribe we have millions in the tornado watches in a couple of counties now under tornado watches still have flash flood warnings and more and by the end of the video we might even have even more tornado watches now to be issued for the northern half of Georgia within the next couple of minutes so again Major new updates for uh, uh, much of the southeast, but our biggest updates have to do with Georgia. And we're going to be looking at now multiple other new radars and different sites so you guys have the newest data. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So now we're going to be looking at the National Weather. So let me go ahead and refresh. And now, yep, guys, now we have our first new tornado watch is now in Georgia. It is actually the county uh, next to me. I'm right here in Hall County. New tornado watches have been issued now for Georgia. It just happened, and very soon my county will be in it as I'm almost right in it. We have a new tornado warning now as well for Gaston, uh, for Gaston, um, uh, um, Gaston, Alabama, and then also the county bordered with Georgia. As you can tell, the county bordered with Georgia has a tornado warning now. So, again, in the yellow, we do have tornado watches, and you should be going into the um. You should be in the basement if you're in a tornado watch right now or preparing right now, even if you don't have a basement. Um, again, have your phone on you right now. Be watching TV because just because you're not on a tornado warning doesn't mean there's a potential for a tornado. Because, again, there can be a tornado that happens without a warning. And if not, if the warning, it's not in, in enough time. Usually it's two minutes before a tornado. So, again, here we have the tornado watches. That's We still have these tornado watches from the strong bands all the way up to Louisiana. We've had that for a while. We now have Baton Rouge. Uh, out there, Lafayette, uh, and, and also New Orleans under tornado watch as well. And then we still have areas near Cro uh, Crowley, uh, Birch Bridge, uh, also other areas out there into southern Louisiana. Also have, again, a ton of to uh, tornado watches still out here into uh, the Mississippi area. Again, we're going to be seeing now this... Uh, and a moderate risk start to move a lot more to the east heading to my area so again like i said this moderate risk every new update now will be moving east because the severe weather is moving out of now arkansas louisiana so again very strong severe weather for brookhaven so hattiesburg meridian that i believe is just south of meridians where we had that ef5 tornado greenville and greenwood is actually under severe threats from warnings at Macomb as well also saw a very strong tornado. Demopolis, uh, Alabama, you're under a tornado watch. And then again, we have, we I believe we had a, a tornado, uh, uh, I believe a confirmed tornado north of Alabama, uh, north of Birmingham. We have now a, se a severe uh, weather statement now. That is a now a, torn a tornado uh, statement there. Again, Montgomery, Alexander, uh, Montgomery, Chicago. Clayton, Aniston, Tuscaloosa, Hamilton, Jasper, uh, Huntsville. You guys are all under tornado watches. Now we have Dalton, Fort Oglethorpe, and also, uh, I believe, not coming Georgia, uh, but Blue Ridge, Georgia as well, and even Hiawassee, I believe, or uh, McKaysville under tornado watches there. Again, 
This is the area of focus where you start to see some more severe bands developing now into the Ozarks and also in Arkansas, Little Rock, Pine Bluff, even out there, Jonesboro, Flashwood Watch, Mount Home, Marshall, Mena. That's we have severe thunderstorms from watches and other severe thunderstorms from warnings as well for western Arkansas and these uh, Orange Counties. We are seeing some more severe weather developing here that could bring some more and more rain towards Tennessee and North Carolina. Again, major updates though for Alabama major bands just look at this incredibly strong severe uh, weather band that did move past alabama look at this you even see a purple that's a huge super cell uh, i believe we actually did have a touchdown a tornado but it has died down just a little bit i was actually watching david schlauhauer's uh, live stream again still not out of the woods out here into mississippi uh, mainly western mississippi that's why we still have that marginal uh, that marginal uh, sorry the uh, that moderate risk right here because again it's going to continue to move the moderate risk is going to continue to move to the east maybe even south carolina the tip of south carolina even tennessee and north carolina the tips of those states could be added into the moderate by possibly even midnight so again we saw extremely strong supercell that moved uh, just north of Birmingham. So Birmingham, you guys just avoided. If not, you guys could have had a tornado. But we had a tornado just north of that. And that's why we have these uh, tornado watches being added into northwestern Georgia. It'll start getting messy now from, from now on now all the way up to 6 a.m. Again, seeing some uh, advanced rain showers that saturated the soil already. And again, we're going to be seeing some very strong winds as well with, this, with the lower winds from the Gulf. Again, with this moisture, again, seeing a ton of uh, ingredients to bring this again. Still seeing very strong bands moving towards the Hattiesburg area, Meridian. You guys are not out the neck of the woods yet. Still seeing, again, that also very strong bands out here into Louisiana. Seeing that uh, action near Baton Rouge. And, of course, also seeing that action out there into the uh, south central near moving into areas near uh, into northwestern Arkansas out there near Mount Mountain View, you guys start to see something. Also, Tulsa, you guys are seeing some very heavy, heavy rain, even Joplin. But again, definitely also seeing some action moving again towards Meridian, Macomb. You guys can also see another wave what you saw last time. This is a, a identical. Uh, this is the identical band of what caused that Macomb, uh, actually, uh, tornado again. But we really saw some really heavy rain go past Tuscaloosa, seeing another major band going to Tuscaloosa. But again, looks like Georgia has yet to see the worst of it and won't see the worst of it until the next couple of hours, actually, again. So this is what we're seeing here in the um, in the radar. But we're going to actually be checking out that big update we saw in Georgia because I know I have a lot of viewers there, and it's quite a major update. So we're going to be looking at the severe weather uh, act. Uh, Severe weather overview. Now we actually have a marginal risk past Atlanta. We now have it as far east as Gwinnett County. Of course, guys, I'm actually right here in Hall County. This is my county right here. Again, I'm super close to it. I'm actually, uh, this is my county. I want to highlight so you guys can see. I'm in Hall County. And look how extremely close it is right here. The border line is right there. It's a maximum of 30 miles away. Earlier today... It was right here. It was actually right here earlier today. It was actually in the South, uh, South Atlanta right here. This is where it was. So it can actually be extended all the way up to here by the next update. Because, guys, almost I, I predict all of northern half of Georgia should be under a, mo a moderate risk. I've been saying that for the past couple of hours now. We should have all of this northern half of Georgia, if not all of it, maybe this section to be added in the mar on the moderate because it's going to be massive so again that's possibly one of our biggest updates and, and again this is uh the um right here what you're seeing right here what it says the what when primary threats and all that that's actually not only for the moderate risk uh, but for the enhancers as well again it's for both enhanced and moderate so even if you're an enhanced risk you're still going to be seeing these exact same uh what when primary th threats and everything so do not, uh, do not think, oh, I'm in a slight or I'm an enhanced risk. Because, again, enhanced risk, you're still going to be seeing this exact same thing. So, again, that's going to be out there. So, we can be seeing uh, what widespread severe weather expected for, again, much of north and central Georgia. 
again, the when is going to be from now at 8 p.m., arriving in northwestern tip of Georgia, uh, crossing Lake Lanier, all the way up to 9 to 10 a.m. Really, the worst of it will pass around 5 a.m., but again, for nor more like central Georgia and southern Georgia, that will be 9 to 10 a.m. Primary threats. This is something big. We have tornadoes in a very big threat now. That could be a very strong EF2 or bigger long track um a uh, strong a uh, tornado again that's definitely something we can be seeing with a pds tornado uh again that's something we can definitely see more pds tornadoes and pds watches and again that's something we have to worry about with a ef2 minimal as a threat so we can possibly see ef3 ef4 maybe even ef5 which is on the lower side but definitely a threat for ef3 ef2s ef3s and ef4s maybe possibly in atlanta or right in, uh, over Gainesville, Georgia. The damaging wind is at a localized 70 plus mile per hour wind gust. We will possibly see 80 plus mile wind gust out there in the Appalachias. And again, quarter size of uh, golf ball size hill. Tornado threat still elevated for much of uh, for my area, but again, very soon I will be added into. Uh, soon I'll be added into this high risk as it will update and possibly go right over Hall County right here. So I'll be added to that high risk for tornadoes. And then for the damaging winds, I'm already in a high risk, but very soon I will be added in a high, in a very high risk. So basically I will be added like millions of others, my viewers, uh, like hundreds of other my viewers will be added into the worst of the threat. So definitely I need to take cover after this video really, because uh, really after 9 o'clock it starts to get a bit interesting. Oh, uh, so we're going to go ahead and skip the marginal because uh, I really, I've already made this video long enough. So for the enhanced risk, we have up to now 19 million people there. Again, we have it all the way up to the Virginia border now and much of Western North Carolina. You're going to continue to see this enhanced risk possibly move a lot more to the wet, uh, the, a lot more to the east, maybe even all the way up to Winston-Salem by the end of tonight as it's going to continue these storms to move east. And as you can tell, the, mo the moderate now out of Arkansas, out of Tennessee, and out of Louisiana. That's because it's now moving eastward, the worst of the severe weather. So now, again, this moderate will be over much of north, central, and much of Georgia, really, by the end of tonight, maybe even tip of South Carolina. So again, enhanced risk is now for Charlotte, uh, Nashville, Shreveport, Mobile, and Knoxville, Tennessee. The moderate now has 10.5 million people. That is 5 million more than yesterday. Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Montgomery, Columbus, and Jackson, Mississippi. The uh, tornado threats getting even higher. I'm actually very close to a 15% chance, which in other words, words kind of means a 30 to 45% chance. Because again, you can never guarantee the exact spot and a guaranteed tornado in the first place. So it's always going to be on the lower side even if it's a huge outbreak. So 15% chance is as high as we can go today. And that's like saying a 30 to 40% chance in regular words. The 10% chance, I'm um, like 30 miles away from that 15% chance. So the 10% chance is also a really big threat no matter what. Let's say it's saying maybe a 20 to 30% chance for a tornado. That's going to be for around 10 uh, around 11 million people, including Charlotte, Mobile, Chattanooga, Columbia, Macon. And then the 15% chance is including 10.5 million people, including Atlanta, Birmingham, Montgomery, Columbus, and Jackson. Wind threat is actually very high now. We have a 45% chance in major cities. We have, not, uh, we have 10 million people, including Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Montgomery, Columbus, and Jackson, Mississippi. All under 45% chance. And of course, I will be over that by the end of the next update because I'm at 30% right now. But very soon, I'll be adding to that. Maybe by the next update. If not, you guys will see that I'll be over that. Charlotte, North Carolina, Nashville, Mobile, Knoxville, Chattanooga. All uh, 19 million people and 30% chance. And then hail threats with a 15% chance. But we're seeing that 30% chance increasing with that Oklahoma system that will be heading towards uh, the lower Mississippi Valley once again. Again. Tomorrow, the highest chance is an enhanced risk. That's going to be for 11 million people, including Raleigh, Greensboro, Durham, Richmond, and Newsport uh, News, Virginia. Again, the high, uh, the risk for marginal go all the way from New York to Florida, and then seeing the the worst of it will be closer to the mid-Atlantic. Tornado threat is maintaining at a pretty high rate, at a 10% chance. That's going to be for uh, 11 million people, including all the way from Raleigh up to uh, Richmond, up to all the way to Savannah, Georgia. And then wind threat's going to be maintaining at the on the lower side at a 30% chance. Not likely we'll be seeing a 45% chance and not likely we'll be seeing huge, huge hail threat. So now we're going to be looking at a new... Uh, a new generation weather lab uh, uh, website that I've been wanting to use and I finally found it. So this is what we're going to be looking at. This is now 
the tornado uh this is basically what we're looking at uh for the potential of a tornado uh so basically this is what, yeah we're looking at the potential for a tornado and this is not like a toracon as you can tell it's going from one to ten right here here you can see it's going from one to ten it's like a toracon but it's seen the, the the chance really out of seeing a tornado um again basically that's what we're seeing again uh, the significant tornado threat that's basically what we are looking at at an STP. Uh, so basically, we're looking at the STPs uh, for a tornado, which is one out of ten. That's going to be for a significant tornado parameter. So again, the chance for a significant tornado, and really the higher you get, obviously the worse it will be. And once you get past the ten, that's like saying a very guaranteed chance for seeing a tornado. So again, this is what we're seeing right now. We're going to be seeing some really high numbers up to some uh, fours and possibly six is out here into not Georgia. Uh, let's actually get out of here. You can see, yeah, seeing up to 5.8. And then right here earlier on today, we saw very high risk out there into near Jackson, Mississippi, because we had that very open window of a wind shear, which was an open window for a tornado, which we saw earlier on. Look, we had up to a 11.7 in some areas, which is way past a 10 on the Toracon, really, which is past a 100 chance. And again, seeing some other sevens where we saw major tornadoes, again, also seeing a huge threat. But as we get later in tonight, this is where we see the biggest threat now moving into my area. Again, I'll possibly be seeing a 6.3, if not a 6.5 on this tor this so-called Toracon. And then seeing the higher numbers in northwestern Georgia up to 8, which is like an 80% chance out there for some severe weather. Again, look at this. Look like we have a huge open window for southern Alabama. And again, southern Mississippi have a huge threat for some tornadoes at 11.5. A really good chance for tornadoes. It looks like a guaranteed chance for at least some wedge tornadoes. Fairly small, maybe even unorganized tornadoes. But a very good chance for tornadoes as well with central Mississippi. A 10.4, uh, 10 11.3 again for uh, Birmingham. We saw up to 8, uh, 8. And again, we saw a tornado there earlier on. Again, even seeing up to now New Orleans a seven just because of those smaller bands and all the energy. Look at this the next twelve hours again. Really, really start seeing that energy now in Alabama as we blow up with the slow pressures and strengthening. These bands will really start to strengthen all the way to the uh, panhandle of Ala uh, Florida, a uh, greater than a ten. Uh, almost all Alabama will be greater than a ten. Really, eleven point nine for Birmingham, uh, Montgomery up to nine point four. Uh, looks like northwestern Georgia, 8.5. My area will be more like at 4. So it looks like to calm down a little bit. And then by later on, it will become a quite a possibly high threat for tornadoes tomorrow as well. Seeing a 7.4 now in South Carolina. Even some uh, lower 5s and 4s out there into uh, Florida. And possibly a good chance maybe not far from Charlotte. We have a 10, 5.3. And then as we get closer into now later tomorrow, it looks like it will diminish this, the threat. Uh, for that tornadoes will start to diminish again. This is not these numbers won't be 100% correct So if you're 6.2 don't expect this exact 60% chance first of your weather So now we're gonna be looking at the Nash uh, for the we're actually gonna be looking out here in the weather channel radar here So again, this is what we're gonna be looking at right now. Let me actually just uh, get this thing to actually move a little bit We're actually not gonna be looking at the weather channel uh, radar. I, I apologize It actually started to act a little bit, bit weird and it wasn't really working right now, but again Anyways, this is really the same thing again. Nan 3 cam model. This is all upgraded. Very strong bands here that developed storms and going over uh, going over Arkansas, and Missouri. 990 millibars again. 995 millibars again. Arkansas. You guys are not out of the woods yet. We can possibly see one of three tornadoes develop out there into the western part of the state. And also very strong bands developing out there still into Louisiana, even all the way to Shreveport. And out there to near Alexandria. So you guys are not out of the woods. You guys need to know that. Again, we still have Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, and even the uh, this western half of the Carolinas to see the worst of it later tonight. I feel like Georgia definitely is going to get really wrecked with this uh, extremely, really strong bands. Again, as we continue to go on, these bands actually conjoin. Again, as you can tell, this is really, really massive as it does move into Georgia. Again, this is a band that brought extremely... Big tornadoes just north of Birmingham. Again, this could definitely go ahead and bring in tornadoes as soon as it, we can possibly see tornadoes go all the way from Alabama to Georgia. Uh, we could be seeing the, again, 
uh, these tornadoes right on the border of the state to get really strong bands going right over my area, though, as you get early tomorrow morning. These are straight up linear line bands. They're definitely going to cause a lot of damage. And it's, we're going to be, again, these bands are going to be having possibly super cells. You can just see how small they are. But we have th uh, possibly up to three to four cells that are behind each other, which is not good. Storm Patrol Center, let's actually go ahead and check out. So right here, it, already sh it only shows 21 uh, reported tornadoes. But we've had possibly, I think, 30 plus. Uh, we've actually had two tornadoes in Virginia. And we had one out here in Tennessee. Uh, that I know of, and again, we've had multiple other ones. Again, we've had, I think, uh, two out here in Alabama, and we've had, uh, I think, two more in Meridian. So, yeah, this is not 100% correct, but this is the data that SPC knows of. But I know this, we've had a lot more reports, even with wind and hail. So, it, it, it's not wrong, but it's not 100% refreshed, even though it takes a couple minutes for them to get it. But as of right now, here we have 42 wind reports uh, stretching from Nebraska out into the blue uh, dots there. 21, 20 reports uh, that we know of. We've had Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Tennessee, and uh, Virginia with some tornadoes. Again, definitely going to be seeing this tornado threat. Uh, you're going to see a lot more red dots in Georgia, a lot more red dots in western uh, Mississippi, a lot more red dots for Arkansas with the potential of those very strong bands. Now we're going to be looking at the uh, power outages, and this is going to shock you how many power outages we've already had in Alabama. Alabama already has 60,000 plus without power, and they're not even close to the, the out of the woods of this yet. Texas has 46,000 out without power. They've recovered about 5,000. We've had, again, these more of these western counties, or Tyler, Texarkana, where we have those power outages recovering from earlier today's spans. Up to a uh, round of 30,000 out without uh, without power out here in uh, uh, Louisiana. Again, it's going to be more of those northern counties where we had the Monroe uh, and Shreveport tornado. Uh, only eight, around 18,000 without power here in uh, Louis uh, Mississippi, but especially getting wrecked out here into uh, into w Wamba uh, County where we only, we've only had 252 uh, customers tracked and 144 without power, which is more than 60%. We've had now up to again uh, these other areas out here in the lower in the lower counties. Where we've had uh, almost a thousand each, and almost uh, four thousand out in Jones County, uh, out there. That's where we had that uh, EF five tornado, I believe. So in Alabama, it's getting wrecked from uh, it, Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham is actually in uh, Jefferson County, I believe. They have thirteen thousand power outages in that county, almost climbing a thousand here. We're also going to be seeing not only northern. Alabama later tonight we're gonna to be seeing power outages out here throughout southwestern uh, Alabama I think the only safe area without power outages will be uh, out here into maybe southwestern near Mobile and all these other areas again we only have uh, a scattered hundred out there uh, seeing for uh, really 3,500 out in Pickens uh, 11,000 out in Walker to uh, 3,000 out in Tuscaloosa and then again definitely be seeing a ton of more power outages into these other counties such as Jackson Marshall, Cherokee, uh, Etowah, you have almost 9,000. Marshall, you're definitely going to see start a lot more. Uh, but, yeah, let's actually check out this uh, once again. And, uh, nope, my county is not under a tornado watch as of right now. But, again, these very strong bands. Wow, actually strengthening. This band in Alabama is actually continuing to strengthen instead of weaken. This is going to be moving into Georgia very fast, straight over here. And that's not going to be good for residents in northwestern Georgia. Again, possibly still have some rotation in that band right there. Again, I'm not too far again from that tornado watch. Uh, I'm right here again, again, right here in this county. Right here in this county. Uh, again, so it's there really one county next to me right there. Um, I actually don't know what county that is. Sadly, I actually don't know what county name that actually is. Let me go ahead and check. Because uh, I actually have some viewers in Georgia, of course. And that's us check out the power outages in Georgia. We're actually seeing, uh, we've actually only seen now uh, 3,000 out in Georgia here. And that is Lumpkin County. Yes, no. It, uh, Dawson County. Yes, I know Forsyth. Uh, but yeah, this is Dawson County here. So that's where we have uh, as far east of Tornado watches there. Of course, will be added all across northern Georgia and all that. And again, definitely start heading its way into Georgia. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay safe, guys. And bye, guys.